Hello, everybody. Welcome to a brand new, exciting episode of the Cologne Podcast. I'm Mike. And I'm Ryan. And we're two best friends. We're going on a journey sharing the ups and downs <laughs> of our fragrance journey with you, our friend of the podcast. Yeah, you may think they've been on a lull lately, so we're bringing it back up. We're bringing it back to our status quo, the norm. The happy Mike and Ryan. <laughs> Just two jolly idiots smelling things and giving you an uneducated opinion. That's right. And today we're going to be sampling Versace's Pour Homme Oud Noir. That's right, Ryan. <laughs> First take, you got it. <laughs> Let me tell you what Gary G199 has to say. What a name. At first sniff, I do not like this at all. It smells like chocolate covered wood and tobacco. <laughs> My first oud frag and I'm turned off to oud now. I heard this isn't genuine oud, but if this is anything like real oud, I'm out. <laughs> Too rich, musty, dark, spicy, bleh. Not for me. Man. Gary G199 from Fragrant. It's kind of funny. It, everything he was describing, I was like, I think I'm going to love this if it's exactly what he's saying. <laughs> Who doesn't love some chocolate covered wood, Ryan? <laughs> <laughs> All right. There you go. Well, we don't have a one night stand review because we decided we recorded a bunch of episodes and we thought fresh start, right? Mm -hmm. We went through this turmoil, this inner dialogue that we had to battle through and we decided let's jump right into it. But I think we do have an email we can read as part of the reason why we decided to do Oud Noir from our friend of the podcast, Mr. John. And John writes. I just listened to the Tom Ford Oud Wood episode. I have sampled it, and it was on my list to purchase because I also really liked it. The only thing is that it is quite expensive. Then I came across a forum talking about Versace Oud Noir, and they compared it to Tom Ford's Oud Wood. I went ahead and blind bought the Versace Oud Noir on a discounter website, and I was not disappointed. I actually prefer it to the Oud Wood, as I think it is a little more versatile to wear. It is now on my rotation at the office, and I have received a few compliments already. Good option that will give you the same vibe for a lot less money symbols. Dunkaroos. <laughs> All right, John. Well, you got to let us know. This was a few months ago. You sent us that. Is this still the case? Do you still love some Oud Noir by Varsauche? Yeah, and let Mike know because I know you privately talk to him behind my back all the time. All the time. We're now texting, Ryan. Oh, God. <laughs> Exchanged personal phone numbers. He reached out to me whenever we went through our psychosis. <laughs> And said, hey, man, look, I'm just letting you know, <laughs> if you need somebody, I'm here. <laughs> Thanks a lot, John. So, yeah, me and John are basically best friends now, Ryan, so <laughs> you're going to have to get in the back seat. There's no one-night stand review, so let's just jump right into smelling this sweet wood. Yep, let's do it. You figured it out yet? How to operate the atomizer? Shut up. <laughs> Whoa. Man, mm. this is pretty nice. <laughs> oh, okay. Mm. Almost like a more sophisticated, clean yeah. type smell. First off, I haven't put the card or my hand to my face because this is popping pretty loud. I'm impressed so far. Man. And I love what I'm smelling. Yeah, it's like I do get the, kind of that spiciness, but Oud Wood is a completely different beast to this. It's like way sweeter, way spicier. Yeah. This has like some clean action to it, but there's like a little bit of that spicy tingle. Man, this is badass on the opening. <laughs> it really is, <laughs> Holy man. Holy shit. <laughs> We've been sitting on this for this long? God, yeah. we're idiots. <laughs> yeah, this was another one of those episodes where... We were watching YouTube. We kept seeing people. Honestly, we kept seeing the Fragrance Apprentice bring up this Oud Noir in multiple top tens that he's been doing. Yep. Oh, George. Georgie. He's been bringing it up a lot. And you know what? We saw one today and it was like, fuck it. Let's do the episode. Let's yeah. smell this. Well, if any of y'all ever question his opinion, I'd have to say he was right on this one. Yeah, like, no this, joke. This shit is legit. Forbes, you're going to be upset because we've pushed your episode back, but... If I get me a bottle of this, I will pull you out a decant because this shit is pretty wild. Oh, my God. I'm blown away. It's not like 
when I think of Tom Ford's Oud Wood, it's it's almost like a fall. I mean, it's very woody, spicy. No. This is just like a good smelling cologne like you'd wear. It's just got the hint of wood in it. But to me, it's more like clean musky. Yeah, it is definitely clean musky. And you know how I be loving my musk. I know. Man, this is badass. I'm really shocked at this. And the price point is pretty legit for it as well. It's like- 50 some bucks, right? For 100 mil? That's crazy. That's Man. crazy. <sighs> Boy. Yeah, that's good. I'm curious to see how it dries down. I'm not getting chocolate covered wood at all on I'm this. I'm not either. But there's something about it. And at the same time, it's not one of these ones where you can directly put your finger on something. It just smells good. And it's got a little something to it. I think the aficionados refer to that as well blended. Well blended. <laughs> but I'd have to agree that you can't really smell anything specific. You just go, damn, that is, that is fucking good. That smells really good. It's I would expect <clears throat> it from Versace. We used to wear the Dylan Blue, which was yeah. really a badass scent. That's a badass scent. I like this way more than Dylan Blue, though. God, I do too. This is more masculine to me. Man, it has I'm, like a set of clackers on it. Yeah, big old meaty ones. <laughs> like two giant ball bearings just <laughs> clanking together. Just sparking Swinging bits of life like everywhere. pendulums. <laughs> On this, man, I'm glad we found out about it right as we're getting into this cold weather. Damn, this thing smells good. The rest of the U.S. is covered in snow, but we're just now hitting those 70s. Oh, man, we're freezing. <laughs> yeah. Does it smell familiar to you? It does kind of smell familiar, and I'm trying to put my finger on what it is. I can't figure it out, but there's something that smells familiar about it. This shit is good. It is so good. I wanted to be hard on it because it's getting some hype. <laughs> Yeah, to tell you what kind of hype it gets. So, this launched in 2013. When you look at Fragrantica, this thing is as cold as a corpse pulled fresh out of a riverbed. Okay? <laughs> Good I Lord. mean, it's blue as the devil's dick. It is everything. It's <laughs> You're going true detective over there. <laughs> Dude, it is Lord. crazy. Up until the middle of last year and now. But this thing is shooting to the moon. This is this is hitting harder than game stonks. It's yeah. hitting so hard. Yeah, it's climbing like them bitcoins, my friend. So it makes me wonder if it was just one of those things that at first launched didn't get for whatever reason, nothing ever got traction from it. Cause I mean, other than John telling us about it first. Yeah. And seeing a few bits and pieces here and there on YouTube just recently. Right. I've never heard anybody talk about this shit. See, the funny thing is, if I think about myself as a buyer, yeah. before I got deep into the fragrance game, yeah. if somebody said, ooh, you should try Oud Noir, I'd be like, no, thanks. Mm -mm. I just, just give me the P's and Q's, ma'am. Yeah. <laughs> this is too much. Yeah. I mean, it's like in your mind, you think, yeah. Oud Noir, what the hell is that? I love the masculinity in this, man. It's good. This is badass. All right. Who's wearing it, Ryan? Man. God, he's got a 12 o'clock shadow. <laughs> and every stubble on his face is razor sharp. I mean, and he's got a chiseled chin. Yeah, well, you're thinking like Henry Cavill. Oh, man, somebody like that. This is like John Hamm from Mad Men. Like yeah. just your hair slicked back, got some pomade in it. Okay. Sharply dressed. Mm -hmm. Your clackers are just, they're loose and they're just, <laughs> they're hitting one side of the inner thigh to the other when you walk. It's painful. Yes. But it's <laughs> it's it's what you have to go through when you're wearing this. You know what this reminds me of? What's it, that? It's like what I imagine a really good Old Spice would be. Fuck yeah. Just like this smells masculine. It kind of smells old school. Yes, it does. <laughs> it's a nice one. I want to be real. The other day we were headed to town. Yeah. And we came in and Ryan said, oh, man, what do we got around here to wear? I want to wear something good. It was kind of cold out. I said, man, reach into our previously reviewed bag <laughs> from the show. I said, why don't you pull out that ood for greatness? Oh, man, it was so good. And he laced up on it, man, and all day. Mm. I was like, that's, it was almost you, Ryan. It was like almost <laughs> there, but it's not quite. But this, I feel like this is 100% you. 
because I can afford this? Well, not, <laughs> not only that. Yes, that's definitely uh, a determining factor. But it's a criteria I've checked off. Yeah, you definitely. Being broke as hell. I think you can afford it. Um, but I think with Oud for Greatness, it was just a little too niche. Yeah. And this is a little more down the road with just some flair. Yeah. And I know you like, I mean, you came in today wearing vetiver. Yeah. By Guerlain. Yeah. So I feel like this is right in that line. It's it got a little old school to it. Feels a little old spicy, but it's just that next level. More distinguished. I'm going to tell you who would really love this. Todd. Todd would eat this shit up. I know we never really say what would Todd like, but I'm telling you right now, this is right up Todd's ass. Oh, he yeah. Would, oh, he would love this. Uh, this is right up a lot of people's asses, I think. Right? <laughs> <laughs> when I smell it. <laughs> God, it is bad. I'm shocked. I'm shocked at the price point of this and how cool it smells. It smells amazing. I was not ready for what I got. I wasn't either. I was expecting something different. I was really going. I was thinking it was going to be kind of generic, honestly. Yeah, and this is, but not in a bad way. No, this this is more. It's instead of generic, I'd say it's mass appealing, right? Yeah. And that's kind of what we want. Yeah. I feel like you could get away with this in more crowds than you could in Oud Wood or an Oud for Greatness. God, man, this thing is legit. It's so damn good. Okay. Skip it. Sample it. Buy it. What are you going to do, Ryan? Man, for 50 something bucks? Yeah. God, that's hard to pass up. Yeah. I'd almost go and have these with you. I think it. we should do that. I think so too. Dude, th- I mean, because I don't care about a bottle or not, but dude, go have these on Good, this. Good, because I'm keeping the bottle. <laughs> <laughs> 50 ml, man. That's, man, 25 this, bones for 50 ml. This would get us through through the holidays, man, for sure. This is badass. It really is. This is super good. Well, if you don't have friends like Ryan that you can split bottles with, you can always go to myfragrancesamples.com mm. and get you a sizable decant. Also, use podcast at checkout and you'll get a little cheeky 15% off. Hey, what's this book you have on the table? What's this? How to transition into selling anything you want no. for dummies. <laughs> <laughs> Did you pick this up at Barnes and Noble? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you better believe it. I got it on Amazon. I used the code podcast at checkout. You know, Amazon affiliate link. Just <laughs> no, we don't have one of those. No, we don't. But yes, make sure to hit up myfragrancesamples.com. This is where we got our 5 mil decant. And honestly, I'm always shocked. And I'll tell you why I was shocked. Because I'm not on this one specifically. But just in 5 mil decants alone. We got the Oud for Greatness 5 mil decant. Yeah. And we did that episode a while back. With and, Forbis. Yes. We with all the third, three went wild on it. And that was after me and Mike had sprayed it before the Forbis episode. Yeah. And I was like, holy shit, there's a lot in here. Yeah, there's still a lot. It's five mil, it gets you down the road pretty good. I mean, ones that I like, yeah. I get a 10 mil or a 15 mil. Yeah. And it lasts a good long while. I mean, whenever you're using so many fragrances, yeah. you don't have to have 50, 100 mil of something. Mm-mm. You can get 15 mil, and if you're rotating out, that's going to last you a while. Yeah. I mean, I have a 15 mil of Tom Ford's fucking fabulous, and I'm probably halfway down on that. Mm. And every once in a while, I wear it, and I like it. I can't imagine buying a 50 mil bottle of that thing, man. It'd be freaking pricey. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, just go check it out. Go to myfragrancesamples.com, put in the code podcast, get your 15% off. We're not getting any cut from that, by the Zero. way. Zero. So buy all you want, or maybe you only get you a five mil of poor Ohm Oud Noir from Versace. Yeah. And you can get that. You can get a hundred of them either way. We don't get cuts. That's all for you. That's just your little discount. There you go. If you enjoyed today's episode and you want to make a contribution, this is where we do get a cut. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We get like 97%. Yeah. Go to buymeacoffee.com slash cologne podcast. Hit us up with a coffee, multiple coffees, doesn't matter. Leave us a message. Tell us something you like or dislike about us. Tell us something we need to try. Let us know. When we get on it. Everything that goes into that comes right back into the show. That's right. It keeps us going and it keeps you laughing all day long. We hope. Yes. <laughs> Okay, well, until next time, spray Spray it up, up, y'all.